Hey, welcome to the Sunday preview. Uh, this week, uh, Sunday the 15th, we've got a gospel from St. John's Gospel, and it's, it goes like this. When Judas had left them, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified with him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and God will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. I give you a new commandment, love one another. As I have loved you, so you should also love one another. And this is how everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love each other. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, this scene is from the Last Supper. Um, where Jesus gives this new commandment of love. And the new commandment of love goes far beyond anything we else we have in the gospel, and things Jesus said. Remember, Jesus had given the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. He said at another time, love your neighbor as yourself, and love God with all your heart, soul, and all your strength. But now at the Last Supper, he raises it to another level where he says, love one another as I have loved you. And afterwards, I'm sure the disciples realized the power of what he had just said after they saw him crucified the next day. And he loved them to the end, all the way up to death on the cross. And he's telling them that they have to love each other in the same way, with that kind of superhuman love, supernatural love that goes beyond just feelings or sentiments or even even just do unto others as you would have them do unto you. This is on another level. This is a whole new dimension of love that is divine. And it goes beyond the human capability, right? Who can love like God loves us with that totally generous, and self-sacrificing love up to death. I mean, it's hard enough for us just to even get along, right? Um, and then occasionally, you know, we rally and we do something generous, even heroic, but this is another level. And Jesus says, by the love you have for each other, the world will know that you are my disciples. In other words, the proof of who I am is gonna be in the quality of the love that you have for each other. And this is why this is the center of our Christian faith. You know, that charity, that divine charity that we have to live. And it's no accident this happened while he was giving us the gift of the Eucharist at the Last Supper. Because the Eucharist is the key to that. It's the, it's the formula for us to have our hearts transformed in such a way that we can love in a superhuman way, in a supernatural way, beyond what we're capable of. And so this becomes the most important thing, it, not even how well we worship, not even um, the service that we have to others, but this supernatural love that imitates the love of Christ. And the Eucharist is the key.